and as you guys can see at the top left corner while playing Pokemon Sword we are getting 100 plus FPS. Let's get started. Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here. Today in this video we'll be taking a look at the brand new Xeonx Nintendo Switch emulator for Android. I hope that's how it's pronounced and this was released in the last 24 hours. In today's video we'll be setting it up. It is not publicly released for everyone. This is just the beta build and it has lot more to go. But the developer is claiming that it is better than Suyu Sudachi and Yuzu emulator for Android. And it is also said that Mali GPU Android devices are supported inside this emulator. So in today's video, we'll be taking a look at it. I'll be reviewing it for you guys. Welcome to Xeonx. Let's tap on Go Play. Afterwards, you'll notice that this is just like the Suyu Sudachi and Yuzu emulator Android. So it is a forked version of Yuzu emulator Android, but the developer is claiming lot of things. And that's what we'll be testing out in today's video. But before getting started, if you guys are new here hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i'll keep you guys up to date with the latest emulation updates with that being said let's get started let's tap on the settings icon and you will be able to see that the theme of yuzu emulator has been customized and it has been rebranded to the xeonx emulator and i'm not really sure how to pronounce it properly but i hope i'm doing it rightly let's go to advanced system settings and the device name still says yuzu anyways we'll disable the limit speed percentage and it can go all the way up to 400 percent uh, let's go back to graphics. I am noticing few small changes in terms of icons and also some text have been edited. Let's just go ahead and check out the resolution option where you will be able to see the developer has classified or added extra information regarding this setting. So if you decrease the graphics resolution then it is better supported for low end devices. But if you increase it then obviously the game will run slower but we will keep it at normal or 1x graphics resolution. We will turn off vSync mode aspect ratio keep it as stretch to window. Afterwards, enable uh, force maximum clocks and asynchronous shaders. Well, this is just like the Yuzu emulator, so we'll be using its best settings. Anyways, once that has been set up, let's just go ahead and go to GPU driver manager and let me add the latest Mesa Turnip Adreno driver. Alright guys, I have imported the Mesa Turnip Experimental Revision 19, which is the latest graphics driver. And inside the manage section, you'll be able to see it has been renamed to Xeonx. Anyways, let's just go ahead and go to theme and color and make sure to try out the different themes. So we have this complete dark theme, which looks pretty amazing. So we'll go with this dark theme and let's try out our first game which is going to be Pokemon Sword. Now I won't be using any kind of save files that's because Pokemon Sword used to have a lot of crashing issues in Sudachi emulator and I want to see if that same crashing issue is present inside this new Xeonx emulator. Let's just go ahead and select our language and first thing which I am noticing is the fact that we are getting pretty good FPS. So we will need to find out how well does this game work. By the way I am using IQ12 with Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor and as far as I can see the game looks a bit faster compared to the Sudachi emulator android and once we enter the open world areas i'll be able to tell you guys perfectly if the game is performing well or not and don't forget inside sudachi emulator we always test out games in 0.75x resolution but inside this emulator we are testing it at 1x resolution also here's our today's google play store gift card redeem code giveaway which i'm doing daily on my channel if you also want to participate then just be first in my videos for that hit that subscribe button turn on all notification and be the first one to redeem the codes and it's not really open source so we can't really know what's in inside the code of this emulator and that's the main reason why you need to wait until this has been officially released and as you guys can see the game has successfully started and the fps which i am seeing is really amazing guys i am not even joking we are getting almost 100 fps inside house uh, this is literally unprecedented i am getting shocked a little bit because i have never seen this high of an fps while emulating pokemon sword in any of yuzu's forked versions so the performance is looking pretty amazing let me just go ahead and save my game so even if the emulator crashes i'll be able to come back and just take a look at this bro the game is so fast and I want to see after entering the open world areas will we get same amount of FPS that's the most important part so we have left the house how much FPS oh bro oh my god guys we are literally getting 60 plus FPS in open world scenarios while emulating Nintendo Switch games on Android inside a fork of Yuzu emulator at 1x graphics resolution that is super impressive because as far as I know even in Sudachi emulator you only get 20 to 25 FPS during this cutscenes you can watch all my Sudachi emulator Pokemon Sword gameplay videos and you will understand and just take a look at the FPS that we are getting which means that this emulator really has some performance tweaks uh, which were not really present inside the Yuzu emulator. So let's try roaming around to see if the FPS is stable or not and as far as I see the FPS which we are getting is still around 40 to 50 FPS which is really great. 1x graphics resolution don't forget that if we try out this game in 0.75x graphics resolution we might get even more FPS but for that I'll be uploading a dedicated gameplay test video pretty soon on my channel 
channel and be sure to hit that subscribe button turn on all notifications so i'll keep you guys up to date once this emulator has been officially launched currently it is in beta stages so i can't really tell you guys how to get this emulator but the performance which we are getting is really better than the suyu sudachi emulator as well as yuzu emulator that much i can say for sure so let's just go ahead and perform a security check of this emulator and one thing i'm noticing my device has gotten pretty hot anyways let's check out the uh, app info of this emulator and as you'll be able to see it doesn't require any permissions and it is also not consuming any mobile data which means that this emulator might be pretty safe let's just go ahead and tap on exit emulation and yeah that was the Xeon's Nintendo Switch emulator for Android. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about it. I have heard that this performs really well on Mali GPU Android device. So if this video reaches 150 likes, I'll be testing out this emulator on my Redmi K50i with MediaTek Dimensity processor. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.